Meet Jane, who is close to earning a record score on her favorite smartphone game. Jane wishes her phone had a longer lasting battery. And Jane isn't alone. Anyone who drives an electric vehicle would also like their car to travel farther on a single charge. Lucky for us all, many scientists are developing better batteries right now. Welcome to the Advanced Battery Facility, a semi-automated battery manufacturing lab here at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. Did your phone battery die? Here, let me show you how we're making batteries better so you can make longer calls, drive your car further, and store more renewable energy for the power grid. Making a battery is a lot like cooking. The main ingredients in a battery are electrodes and an electrolyte. Electricity is generated when electrons flow through a wire that connects positive and negative electrodes. To control the electrons, charged particles shuffle from one electrode to another through a liquid electrolyte. The first step in making battery electrodes is mixing a batter-like slurry. PNNL scientists are exploring many different electrode materials such as lithium, sulfur, sodium, and magnesium that can make batteries more efficient. Next, the electrode goo is spread and baked onto a very, very, very long piece of metal foil. The flattened electrode is then cut into cell phone battery sized pieces with a super sharp stamping machine. Multiple electrode sheets are stacked together like a super thin cake, each layer separated by an insulating sheet and spit out of an automated stacking machine. The stacked battery electrodes are then wrapped in a moisture-resistant barrier material. Finally, the second big battery ingredient, the liquid electrolyte, is injected into the battery. Next, the battery pouch is placed in a vacuum box where all the remaining air is sucked out allowing the electrolyte to soak into the electrodes. A few minutes later, the battery is finished. But this isn't ready to power your phone yet. PNNL cooks up experimental batteries to test out new, promising materials. In addition to lithium ion, our future phones and cars could be powered by sulfur, sodium, or even air. To find out how well the new materials work, PNNL puts their experimental batteries through the ringer, repeatedly charging and discharging them in these test beds, where the batteries are exposed to extreme heat and cold. This lithium ion battery has been tested for more than 500 cycles, and it's still working great. Maybe one day you will achieve a top video game score, or drive your car across the country with a battery like this.